the Garbage Bag Full of Popcorn podcast. But anyway, Kyle, the moment we've all been waiting for. Ooh, we want all right. to hear your Mario reaction. Oh, yeah, well, let's, let's, let's go down the timeline real quick because <laughs> it, let's, we're going to date this all the way back to when they announced that there was going to be a Mario movie with all these people in it. You know, uh, Chris, Chris Pine, what's his name? Char- Charlie Day, Keegan Michael Key, uh, and and I don't know why I thought that it was going to be like live action mixed yeah, with CGI type of thing, like maybe like Sonic or whatever. And I just I don't know why I thought that that was what it's going to be, but I it was an afterthought, and I never put any thought into it whatsoever. And then a couple days ago, when they put out the poster and it looks like the video game, that's when I was like, wait a second here. And I saw Mario in the poster and I pictured Chris Pine doing a voice. It doesn't matter what voice he does. It doesn't matter if he tries to replicate it perfectly. It doesn't matter if he does his own voice. It doesn't matter if he does his brand new voice. I just pictured him doing it. And I was like, dude, he's going to get dragged. Like, it's going to get awful. And then I was really thinking about it. I was like, isn't that guy still alive? Uh, uh, Charles Martinet, who has voiced the Mario series for over 20 years. He's done he's a Mario, Luigi, Wario, Waluigi. He's done the entire franchise for over 20 he's years. He's not famous. Oh, okay, but I was just like, yeah, exactly. So I was like, <laughs> okay, well, he's he's like he's got to be dead. Right. I looked him up. No, he's, he's still alive. And he's like, yeah, this movie's going to be super sick. So then I re looked up the cast, all those people I just said, he's in the movie. They cast him in the movie as bit parts as like a janitor. Yeah. He's playing like, <laughs> he's, he's playing like cameo parts. I don't get it, dude. He's like, I Princess don't, Peach. I don't get like, are they, they're so afraid that, that the movie's not going to sell, but the animation, on the trailer looks really Amazing. good. So yeah. you he's got to he's got to take a back seat on his own character. Yeah, dude, like it doesn't does make it, any Kyle, sense. Do you mean Chris Pratt? Yeah, he does. He does. <laughs> what do you mean? What what was I saying? Chris Pine. Chris Pine. Yeah. <laughs> They're the same guy, whatever. I wasn't going to correct him because I don't care. But yeah, <laughs> Chris, well, you know, I I don't Chris know. Rat. So I'm like, ah, maybe. <laughs> I, I your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> No, it's, yeah, it's just like it's, it's, he's not even he's not even trying in it dude it's just like it, it, what is this place like what are did you, you see doing? the did you see the video of him trying to lie and say that he used to play video games and mario growing up dude gutted like absolutely gutted so dude. i couldn't be- i couldn't believe that they ha- that he even said that like, He's like describing I, I, a different game. We well, couldn't like remember when Mario flies into outer space and shoots at the asteroids. Yeah. <laughs> he couldn't remember what Goombas were called. He's like, "Yeah, I used to always smash those." Dude, he's looks, like, off, like, looks off screen. Someone tell Goombas, Goombas. Man, watch out when Mario loses all those rings, right? Yeah. <laughs> Is Jim well, Carrey I mean, in this one? I was yeah. that's their, that's their main I, I, I took on right? the project because I wanted to work with Jim Carrey specifically. Uh, Someone no, whispers in his ear. It's just like, it doesn't make any sense. It reminds me of, of Detective Pikachu, where Pikachu has been successful for over 20 years just saying his name. Now, get Ryan Reynolds in there to to sell the movie like if the animation is good enough and you see the character and you hear the voice they're gonna see it like like why do you have to attach all these people to it why can't they be the bit parts and he does the main (laughs) character you could have bring him in for an hour (laughs) you could have paid the original guy fractions on the dollar to play every voice in the movie literally and then you just put all of it in a marketing like (laughs) yeah that's what's weird is because the whole thing looks like just a giant cut scene from like the most recent mario party a zillion or whatever so it's like why maybe they panicked and were like if people see that it's just basically a video game but as a movie they're not going to come see it. So let's attach famous people and people will get in the door just to be like, oh, I'm interested in hearing how that person voices Mario. But what they didn't tell you is he's just going to do his regular voice. 
he's just gonna no, talk exactly it's and 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 okay. it's not even his like it's not even like his regular voice he's trying to do like a spin on it too like he said unlike anything you've heard in a mario world yeah because you're chris pratt who's never been in the mario world before so you're like i can just create yeah. this voice and yeah. like dude, well you know I, what it was I, I cut, and he, I cut he was gonna trailer. get trashed either way but dude, he's gonna well, get you know exactly you know exactly why he didn't do that right he didn't want to do a super stereotypical italian accent and get trashed for being like insensitive or something so now dude, he's just like listen to this man absolutely listen to this Can you guys hear it? No. Oh, you can't? Uh, I think that's because my headphones are attached we can pull to my it up and my it computer at the same time. Seconds. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> but, I don't dude, care. Yeah, that's, I don't really care either. I'm, I'm not going to see it. I'm not going to see it. And to be honest with you, all the reviews that I'm seeing from people are like, wow, this looks really, really cool, except for Mario. Like Mario's voice. Like Who's like, voicing Bowser again? Jack Black. Oh, okay. It's Kung Fu Panda they, Bowser. They, they, it sounded like they put like a pitch on it, and yeah. then you got Keegan Michael Hall as Toad, so they pitch up his voice. And uh, who, who, I wonder gonna, if I'm Bowser's gonna, gonna, gonna give out it. any a thousand star presents. Uh, no, I think he's gonna run. <laughs> I, think, I think you're gonna see a lot of Bowser ran. <laughs> Dude, what if they have a the, if they don't have a party in it? Like, <laughs> dude, that's I what know. we need to get. You guys need to get back out here. Although now with the baby, it might be more a little more difficult. But she goes to bed at around seven. We could play Mario Party. I'm sure Viv's down. Uh, how did it look on the TV? Well, dude, that was another. Good. That was another thing I saw too. Was that Fred Armisen was playing? Uh, oh, so they have Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong and Fred Armisen as Cranky Kong. And I'm like, Cranky Kong. There's only two other Kongs you go with. They Diddy made Kong, up. A they made up a character. Or, yeah, it's like he's like an old. He's like an old. He's like a grandpa Donkey Kong. Grandpa but like, Kong? why don't you just go with Diddy Kong or Funky Kong? Here's the question: Does Donkey Kong person? say anything besides? <laughs> <laughs> he does now. He says, "Yeah, he does now." Uh, you know, legalize it or whatever. Whatever, whatever uh, Pumba says. That's what that's what Donkey Kong is gonna say. Donkey Kong saying Hakuna Matata. Yeah, <laughs> but like I just don't know why you don't go with Diddy Kong. Like it's extremely Kyle, recognizable. <laughs> what are the chances that whoever wrote the screenplay has a passing knowledge on what Mario even is? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> They're like, okay. yeah, whatever. I think I've seen a poster. <laughs> We're good to go. About the same odds that the guy playing doing the voice for Mario has a passing <laughs> knowledge on Mario. It's it's yeah, that whole video he did before was just so insulting. The whole thing is insulting to me. I feel personally attacked. I feel like my childhood is attacked. I feel like okay. video games are attacked. I feel like movies are attacked. <laughs> I just I uh I can't you're believe nobody else is outraged. You're getting into incel youtube rant guy pretty pretty quickly here <laughs> i'm going on an internet forum and speaking my mind and fuck bitches too they never pay attention to me <laughs> it's oh, all man. margot robbie's fault because she never looked at me when i was stalking her that one time <laughs> it's all margot <laughs> robbie's fault <laughs> is she voicing some character in this? I'm surprised. Doing her uh, Brooklyn accent that comes and goes. <laughs> yeah. She goes in and yeah. out of Har Harley Quinn. Uh, so if you're done with that, I you okay. Have okay. A, I, I think I think I know where you're going with this. Yeah. I have a insane, like we both, Viv and I were both like, this is insanely bad. Okay. First of all, <laughs> who was asking for the 10th Dahmer vehicle. Mm, mm, mm. Who? Like, there is so much Dahmer there's so, movies, there's so much TV of shows. Like, who was yeah. asking for another one? Well, there's so it's crazy because there's so much of it, but there's still people that are, like, trying to cash in on it. Like, like to make it right. more about themselves. Right. Like, I saw that one... <laughs> 
that one R and B guy who I've never heard of before was like, Oh, by the way, I was in jail with him. My number was this and his number was that. It's like, yo, why are you telling us this now? A, nobody believes you. B, nobody cares. <laughs> no one's gonna be like do you have a CD coming out or something that you're trying to sell? Nobody believes here. you. Yeah, yeah, what are you wait, promoting here? Why now? Why now? Why now? Hey, hey there was me. Dormer stuff last year, there was Dormer stuff two years ago. Right, well, the iron's hot, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> it is insanely bad. Like I thought it was like a prank. Like it it's it's like what we talked about before where they have to hit you over the head with every little thing. So like his dad in, in the of course have to cut to meaningless flashbacks to him as a kid and these scenes go on and on and <laughs> on and you're just like Oh my God! You're not even gonna mm. show like interesting gore or gross out stuff. You're just gonna go into this guy's psychology, which nobody cares about. And it's like his dad will like turn to the camera and be like, "I wish you were lobotomized to the mom." What? And you're like, you know, you get it. Every yeah. every scene has a you get it at the bottom as a oh banner that says, "Do you understand that this is relevant to his crimes?" Like that's literally like every scene and you're like oh, but we yeah get that's, it. <laughs> just it's just uh insulting to the audience member everything <laughs> but we said there i guess there was like backlash because people were like well i mean why does he have to be gay like so why hot. yeah why does he have <laughs> to be why gay? do i want to why him? does he have to go after gay black men it's like what are you talking Zero. about? Somebody didn't make this up. This is what yeah, happened. So <laughs> yeah. uh, what do you want us to do? <laughs> I think you guys should have made it uh, uh, unruly party teenagers that he killed. <laughs> it should have been a white guy that he killed. It's like, well, but he didn't. What, what are you talking about? This this actually I'm happened. Hearing, I'm hearing complaints that a lot of people think the actor is too hot, and now they want to fuck Dahmer. <laughs> that happened with the freaking – when Zac Efron did – uh, which was another that happened, with, that happened with that, that happened with how to make a monster. <laughs> <laughs> they 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 keep making the same exact series, but they just insert different serial killer that nobody cares about anymore. And kids are probably like, "Who the hell is that?" Like it, they did the same thing with Zac Efron, and I think I told you guys where we were yeah. so confused because literally they they were like the whole series was almost like like he was the protagonist. Like, like you were supposed to feel bad for no, but yeah. that's head Bundy. They, that, and you're so like, that's, wait, that's the thing. So when you do like a crime thriller or like a court thing or something, they want to showcase the bad guy, but you can't make him the protagonist. So it's always through the cops point of uh, point of view because they either catch him or they kill him. And but you're showing those two storylines. But now they're just taking out that storyline and they're like, he's bad, but he's good. But he's that's bad, ex but he's that's exactly the cop. The cops are a complete afterthought in the first two episodes, at least. Like I've never they, seen they're it. just it, like incompetent cops. And and to be fair, like this actually did happen. Like I guess they went to his house uh, because yes. a kid was like lobotomized, yes. wandering down the street, and they yes. were like, "Hey, what the fuck is this?" And he yeah. was like, "Oh, that's my boyfriend. He's just really drunk." And they were like, "Oh, you guys are gay." Like, okay, I you go away, right? I guess that really happened. I don't know if the cops yeah. got fired or whatever. And they showed that it's like okay so they're not sympathizing with the cops they're not sympathizing with anybody it it's just you're just following this guy no but like the, the whole series is like a veiled like insult to police the entire it, time like, it's it, not I veiled mean, at all yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. don't tell, don't tell dick wolf that yeah yeah <laughs> It seems it, like it's very much a uh, <laughs> uh, defund the police. No, no, no. Uh, I'm telling you, like this is. You asked why they're doing, why they made this, and why it's relevant all over again. Because this whole thing is riddled with like social commentary that you can make on shit yes. that's happening currently. That's why. Yes, yes that's exactly. They, they right. were able to sprinkle in so much of that. And now throughout the entire yeah. series, and, and well, they make sure well, <laughs> everybody has a super hack like Milwaukee accent. So it's uh, just yeah. brutal. Yeah, you know, hey oh, guy, what's going on over there? You know, yeah. it's just it's, this, uh, it's not it's not Francis McDermott from Fargo. That's exactly the, what uh, no I'm saying they're a little bit less than that. The neighbor lady too is is the is the lady from Reno nine one one. So you're just Which thinking one? um the black lady. Okay. 
Yeah, so so she's the so like is it, see like I don't know it, it, she plays the neighbor and then and then the dad is the dad from Step Brothers. Yeah. So it's just like all of these famous people that I'm just, like are too recognizable to be playing these characters. And they're and they have like a weird prosthetic on his face and stuff. Yeah. That's that's what's bizarre too. Like they put a weird prosthetic like chin on Evan Peters. So he has like these weird jowls on his chin. I think to your point, Kyle, it was just like, this guy's too hot. We can't have this guy be the main guy. Like we need to fuck up his face a little bit. So they gave him like weird, like prosthetics. We'll never cast, an, we'll never cast an ugly person though. No. Why would you? No one knows who that Man, is. This guy keeping heads in the fridge is too sick. How can he, how can he be a good actor? If he's breaking the yeah no you can't do that you can't I, I can't even get a deranged serial killer role in hollywood <laughs> 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 they're casting yeah. hunky man number one <laughs> did you guys see uh, that fuck, i don't know which i think it was gq christian bale did an interview with gq where he basically said he owes his entire career to leonardo dicaprio passing on roles <laughs> 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 and he's and he's just like you know yeah so like you know basically just thanks he said he said he got the American Psycho role because DiCaprio passed yeah, on it that. and that was like his career maker and I like, think yeah. I saw the pictures for that does he look like a deranged crazy yeah, guy yes. with a beard and yes. stuff yes yeah. and a colorful beanie he's like a very hipster yes but he yes. basically That's said yeah movie. like anybody anybody who's anybody male acting wise in the last 20 years only got where they are because leo passed on roles <laughs> that's what he basically said thanks for coming out <laughs> yeah he's like the rest of us are just fighting for his leftovers <laughs> with chicks too uh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's i saw that with brad pitt too like these guys live in such a fantasy world i'm sure where it's like all right i'm single but i'm old oh yeah that's right i'm brad pitt who's yeah. the hottest chick i possibly could find oh emily whatever yeah all right <laughs> we're dating now right it's just like you, you it's not even an if it's just hey i'm here i'm in your dms because when you're a when you're like an under 30 model you got to have your Brad Pitt run, right? Oh, you got to yeah. have your quick couple weeks with Brad. Your Catherine Zeta Jones. Yeah, you got to have uh, your, like, your, you, know, you got to marry man. man. <laughs> well, there's a, there's no mystery on uh, NSFW Reddit pages anymore. There's no mystery. A... <laughs> no. Oh, because uh, of the blurred lines video? No, uh, I was just saying, because you said Emily Raja, blah, 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 but you don't have to. Uh, there's no mystery with what with what she's with what she's got, you know. It's uh, right, but why? It's all, it, it, it's, it's all over the place. And 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 he's seeing that, so that's why he's he's pursuing it. Right, but why? How? What is that from? Just leaks. She's got some. She's got some leaks. Huh? She's Are they got Bush, some leaks? Bush's photos or what's going on? No, they're just like they're just like regular photos. They're like very tasteful, artsy, naked photos. Huh. Where and can these look? are They're located on where the internet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't have. I, I'm I'm sure Google will fill it in for you before you even get to R A W. Here's everything you want to see. <laughs> Do I need a VPN? Dude, cash, they will, cash, they will cash. remake a bomb, and it will fucking bomb again. And they are just like, oh. Well, dude, what's kind of crazy? How could this have happened? Fire up the engine. I was, think, I was thinking about remakes too, and I was like, because sometimes they're almost as ignorant to be like, to be like, no, they didn't have the special effects back then. They didn't have mm -hmm. the camera work back then. So what we want to do is we want to take what their vision was supposed to be and make it for modern times. But like, what if they did that with with albums where they were like, no, they didn't have the right recording techniques back then. So we're gonna get uh it, imagine dragons to come in here to remake all the beatles albums with our with our new audio equipment they kind of do that but at least they're involved like that horrendous metallica album that was like miley cyrus yeah like 50, yeah, like 50 songs and, on like, it and each one was yeah, more like unlistenable than the last phoebe bridgers doing uh you know and nothing else matters for the longest time i thought that phoebe bridgers was the person that adam divine is married too and i was like oh she oh, sings Chloe. 
pretty close. No, but it was Phoebe, it was Phoebe kind of Bridgers, little... Chloe Bridges. Yeah, I got come you, on, I got come on! I can't, I can't be retaining all of this stuff. <laughs> well, um, you know, we uh, we can get right into uh, niche sports scandals if you guys want to. <laughs> I I just heard on pardon my take the whole fishing one, which is hysterical, right? It's so funny! It's so funny, dude! I saw like literally the three hundred and sixty degree angles from like everybody that was in there, just, just. It's like it was like a South Park, like rabble, rabble, rabble on this guy. Like he got destroyed. He got like. Well, I don't dude, know you what. you see how it, insane that sport is. So I don't know how de- far down you got into the rabbit hole, but the reason they suspect very far these down. people is that at the end of each competition, they give everybody a lie detector. So they he, the guy pa- didn't pass a polygraph test like the last few competitions, and they're like, "That's weird, you know? <laughs> why didn't he pass?" And then so like somebody probably caught on it, like that's bullshit, like because and these guys are incredibly fucking dickheads. Like when you if you've seen slackers, you realize that you can't just get an A plus, right? People are gonna <laughs> suspect shit. No, Same exactly. Same thing with fishing, no. right? Like fishing is inherently random, right? Like it's you like, have, hey man, you have to you get swam a under my boat. Wrong. Yeah. Right, you have to not win sometimes, right? Well, you can't yeah, win like every single 22 competition. 22 pounds, 22 pounds, 21 pounds, <laughs> yeah. 36 pounds. <laughs> uh, well, that fish is smaller than that fish. Oh. 97 pounds. Yeah, not even making I, it close. You know, I was actually going to get more into the uh, the chess scandal with the guy putting the vibrator up his ass to uh, win o- over 100 matches. And I was kind of thinking about it. Chess sounds pretty cool. So I'm going to get into it. <laughs> I, I, to be honest, I guess I've been doing chess for the last <laughs> 10 years and I didn't even know it. <laughs> All I needed was a chess board. Yeah, yeah. One, of the, one of these days I'm going to round and getting a chess board. Then it really kicks my chess career. I'll be a grand year. master <laughs> at chess. Because <laughs> I'm a grand master at the other thing. Yeah. But then once I yeah. apply the, the, the board. The most important the, part of chess, I think I've really nailed. Uh. <laughs> I've been doing for years. <laughs> I'm so good at it. I'm so good at it. Uh, checkers, chess, uh, connect four, battleship, you name Sitting it. Sitting around. <laughs> what makes a great chess player is how long you can keep a vibrator in your ass. It's having a good teammate. I mean, uh, having a good strategy. It's like, it's like, uh, it's like, I'm not even gonna get just, into it. It's like the imagine. one. It's like the one. That, it's like the one that's the phone where they they can control it by going like. <laughs> that's what, I'm, dude. I uh, uh, it's a night. It's a night. It's a night. <laughs> that's what it had to be. So it's it had to. You had to have a multivariable strategy, right? So like, yeah, you can't just one. It, you know, one pulse wave has to mean right. Wave. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> like you. You know. Whoa! <laughs> well, that means that I have to move my queen, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I, 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 I read that wrong. I must have read that wrong. The hammer setting, that means I'm about to be checked. <laughs> now, on game number 100, we had to incorporate a, uh, you know, some duct tape to there because it was just, it was so open. We couldn't, we couldn't get a, we couldn't get the grip on it. Uh, but uh, we we pulled through and we won we won the match. That's gonna. Be I wonder documentary. how they caught him in terms of like, do you know that he he beat the best guy ever and he's uh, like a nobody. <laughs> <laughs> I just started playing last week. <laughs> they they actually went back and looked at the footage and every time he got a check me he was going like. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, you see here in the footage, you know, it's subtle, but you're going to have to pay attention very quick. You know, it's it's quick, but ah! <laughs> every checkmate, he looks like he's having a violent orgasm, which he was. <laughs> I just thought he really liked chess. He, he does. He, he really <laughs> likes to, to be honest, though, you know that these sports are embarrassed, but at the same time, it's like somebody's talking about fishing. Somebody's talking about chess, right? Like, of course, they yeah, haven't had course. this much publicity since 
the goddamn fishing pole was invented. Well, like, that's like the uh, that's the poker scandal with that guy because I, when I fell down that rabbit hole, it was set up like guy gets mad at girl for cheating at poker game. And of course, that's like a that's a terrible headline because when you go in there and then people are breaking it down like what they think it is, and then the next best thing is that's the dude from Survivor, Garrett, who was so terrible at Survivor and was so terrible at strategy that one of his teammates took everybody's rice, threw it in the fire because she thought she was getting booted off, and they ended up booting him off instead. <laughs> <laughs> that, so that like reminds me. To bring it back to episode 15 or whatever, on season two of Rock of Love, there is a clear lesbian chick that has no interest in Brett whatsoever. So she gets obsessed. Why, why the show? Is That's it because she question. is like like the, the She's position there for the, chicks. the other girl? Like. So she gets obsessed <laughs> with one of like the main it's competition girls. with Brett. So, so she gets obsessed with like with the main chick, and so she gets this feeling like Brett's gonna eliminate her one of the uh, whatever dick ceremonies, and so she wait what <laughs> dick ceremony the rose <laughs> ceremony where he holds the rose like this and makes him get down <laughs> on their knees. That's a thing on the show. No. Oh. <laughs> I, I was. I generally believe that. <laughs> that's, oh, from, uh, that's from. That's from the I, Joe I was not Schmo show. It. So uh, uh, Spike TV had a hilarious like spoof of The Bachelor called the I Joe Schmo Show that is absolutely yeah, hysterical. Yeah. <laughs> um, but anyway, they you did that on that where it's like, will you please light his wick? And he holds the candle up like this. <laughs> 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 but yeah, uh, so she gets an inkling that this main chick's gonna get voted off. So she goes, Brett. <laughs> This is the most selfless thing I'm ever going to do. You owe me. He points to the chick and everyone's like, what's happening? And so she's like, if I go, can Christy Joe stay? And Brett's like, uh. That's, that's the rules. You're what? out. Everyone else is in. <laughs> uh, okay. And so she leaves and she's pointing back going like, I'll see you on the other side. You know, she's saying crazy stuff. And then he like holds up who he was going to eliminate. And it was her the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone was like, "You're an idiot." <laughs> what? That's hilarious. Yeah, if you got time, man. Rock a love on Hulu. It it does not disappoint. Seasons one and two. I need that. That's hilarious. <laughs> I, it is. I just need a super to watch. Luke Rockhold of Love. Dude, that dude, that would make him a zillion dollars. I don't even think you could do a dating show like that like how the bachelor and the bachelorette still exist i'm not even really sure but like a show like that that was like so over the top like all right brett's here. yeah brett's here to have sex with everybody go fuck yourself <laughs> yeah <laughs> like i really don't think you could have a show like that but who, knows? who wants to get laid by a rock star <laughs> <laughs> that's literally like every scene he's implicitly saying and, that and by the way all of you are going to get laid by a rock star it's just uh who's going to stay the longest to get laid by me more who's going to get oh, the most oh, publicity oh. while doing it all right that also so which one of you late which one of you ladies has a chance to fuck me until season two when i try to fuck somebody else <laughs> <laughs> that so that also happened where one of the chicks in one of the seasons they go to watch brett play a show and it's clear that one of the chicks could care less about brett is just there to be a groupie so she's like getting drunk with the band like trying to get fucked <laughs> and brett's and, like yeah. whoa 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 You're anyone will do anyone will do 100 <laughs> percent. and it's like it comes out that like she had actually been like violently messaging the guitar player from poison before she got on the show and so brett's like hey what's the deal and she's like you know hey man I am looking to starfuck, and if this isn't going to be the vehicle, I will use Facebook or MySpace at the time to accomplish that goal. This is all a means to an end for me. <laughs> I you said, and, and it was found out that she was feeding the other guy from Poison poison. <laughs> <laughs> Ironic turn of events. Deranged psycho. <laughs> 
hey, Brad, uh, I poured us a couple of drinks. Oh, actually, <laughs> this one, actually. Uh, <laughs> actually, let's just throw them both away. <laughs> you know what they say, Brett, every rose has its roofie. <laughs> Who says that? Somebody. <laughs> actually, that was the original lyrics of the, of the, of the song. He does try to do that too, where he's like, you know, I fell in love with this stripper, and that's what every rose has its thorn is about. And they're like, <laughs> yeah, that's great. Um, I'm 25. I don't really care. <laughs> uh, how much airtime am I going to get? Is that all yes, I'm going to get? Yes. And yes, I'll take it. That's what it really comes down to is who wants to parlay banging an aged rock star into like two months of fame afterwards and potentially like a cameo in a teen rom film. Yes, that's exactly right. Not in more specifically one of those fake spoof movies. Yeah, yeah. Like 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 you know how whatever uh Breaking Wind, right? The the Twilight sequel. Like that's the exact vehicle for the yeah. second runner up on yeah. Flavor yeah. of Love, right? Or Absolutely. Ma That's the Maximus, exactly. whatever, the 300 spoof movie with Will Sasso. Oh my God. Well, Meet the Spartans? Have, uh, Meet the Spartans. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was actually the one I was thinking of, actually. Uh, <laughs> and that won how many Academy Awards? <laughs> Meet the Spartans. Robbed. It was robbed that year. Probably by. Penciled in. Um, Meet, the, Meet the Spartans. Dallas Fires Club. It's my motto. Who's your favorite celebrity? And I'll shit all over them. <laughs> it's quite a motto to have. Makes you a real crowd pleaser around the office. <laughs> <laughs> He's full of stuff like that. He's full of stuff like that. Hey, you got to come over and talk to this guy, Kyle. He's a nightmare to be around. <laughs> he will crap on everything you like. Water cooler? Water cooler's right over here. Who wants to sit? <laughs> Uh, hey, you guys see the Mario trailer? <laughs> that sucked, huh? It fucking shit, sucked, huh? It fucking sucked. Dude, actually, that, that literally happened to me today. I walked into the break room uh, at my work, and there was a chick uh, watching something. I'm like, oh, sorry, I'm, uh, I didn't want to bother you. And she's like, oh, it's okay. I'm just watching Chris Pine on Parks and Rec right now. I went, no way you're watching that right now. And she went, yeah. I went, first of all, I thought that Chris Pine was in the office because of that meme, so I had to look it up. This guy refuses to call him Chris Pratt. He refuses to call him Chris Pratt. He <laughs> cannot Chris call Pratt? this guy Chris Pratt. Who's Chris it's Pine? Again, he refuses, actively refuses to call him Chris, uh, Pratt, Chris Pratt. I don't like that boy either. This whole episode is rendered useless. <laughs> <laughs> You're actually talking about a guy you know named Chris. <laughs> Man, Chris Rock is so terrible in this movie. No, but uh, Chris Pratt is in Parks and Rec. And I thought he was in the office because of that meme. The amount of stores that expect you to sign up for their rewards program or give your email or phone number at the register and almost oh. like try to prevent you from buying things until yeah. you do yeah. is offensive. Like I yeah. seriously am like getting into fist fights at places now. Like this person <laughs> at H and M was legit. Like, I mean, why wouldn't you give it? They're literally, it's like an 18 year old giving me this lecture. Like, well, why wouldn't you do it? We're not, it's free. You know, you're going to get reward, blah, blah, blah. And I go, why do you want it? Well, and I go, exactly. Like you want it so that you can track my spend, you can spam the <laughs> fuck out of me, and you can litter my emails daily with H and M ads, right? And and this poor kid's like, okay, that's fifteen ninety five, you know? Like, listen, <laughs> man, listen, man, I got four cameras on me. My manager got yeah. my ass on this. I got the least amount of people. That's literally up exactly this. everybody what in the store. That's exactly. That's exactly what's happening. Where they're like, look, man. This is part of my job. They told us that if we don't do it, we're going to be reprimanded. What do you want me to do? And I'm like, well, yeah. you don't have to fight me for it. Like, I'm literally offended every single time. Yeah, these fucking stores, <laughs> they got uh, they got attachment issues. You know what I mean? Like, you got nice shit. I'm gonna come back. It's okay. Don't worry. Like, I don't need to sign up for your shit. They, they, and and it's offensive. Like all of these places spam the fuck out of you. They, they will send a daily email. 
daily. Email, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. like the the unmitigated gall to send someone an email every Some single more than day. once. Some more than right? once. Right, like, like, and and just to say, like, hey, we exist, and you're just like, there's no way yeah, that this actually works. Like, no one is this stupid. Like, I, I'm just, I don't get it. Because everybody's competing against like 500 other companies that are exactly the same as them. Well, and, and so, so like the membership but thing only is like one thing. two of them, only like two of them are the actual like monopoly of the whole like industry. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like Target. Why do you need me to sign up? Right. Like you're not making enough money. Walmart, yeah. you know, you need me to sign up for something that doesn't make any sense. The biggest thing is so, so the membership, whatever, right. They just want to track your spend. They want to get better analytics, whatever. The biggest, even more offensive is the people who think you're going to sign up for a credit card. At the register, yeah. Yeah. like, oh like, yeah. lady, in what is world this a, is, is this a good this, idea <laughs> to open up a bunch of lines of credit at every single store you go to? It makes no sense. Like, your credit score this, is going to plummet, right? Yeah, this like, is a habit. This is a habit burger. Like, this right, is a bank. Why would I? <laughs> yeah. And, and, yeah. And, and, well, that's the best uh, thing, right? It, and, and fuck everybody else in line because now I'm going to make this thirty second transaction last five minutes, yeah. right? It, it, it's insane. I need you to fill out this uh, 28 question, uh, also giving your social okay, security. Okay, uh, proof of income, social security. Yeah. You know, you're like, what? Hey, I'll, yeah, have, it's... I'll, have, your, I'll uh, have your credit inquiry approved before the fries are done. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. You know what? I'm glad you asked. Give me a pen. Hey, folks, this is going to take a second. <laughs> if you found some other stuff in the store that you want to go shopping for, now's the time. Because... <laughs> Because <laughs> this I'm pen is out. about to run out of ink right now. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy's going to get a $10,000 line of credit to Walmart. <laughs> like, I'm going to be back. I can't go anywhere else. I, I have to come here. Like, <laughs> it's, it's, it's offensive. I, I, don't, I don't understand. It's, it's nonsense. Yeah, but now you can get this $200 raft. On a twelve month, zero interest payment. That's another thing, dude. The pay buy now, pay later, later thing is yeah, out yeah. of control. Yeah. And what a shocker! So all those companies have like crazy yeah. delinquencies now, and it's like, <laughs> what did you expect? Right? Yeah. Like I have three thousand <laughs> microtransactions. I'm, I have putting that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting a fucking new pair of jeans on a six month payment yeah. plan. And I do all of all my purchases on a payment plan. So I actually owe a hundred thousand dollars everything for the yeah. next two years. <laughs>